Okay, welcome back guys to A Level Lessons Online. We're back with math again, covering your 2017 H2 Math A Level Paper 1. All right, I'm going to be moving on to question 9 today, and it's a definitely a much trickier question to do, but not to worry, it is not the hardest. Okay, it's going to be a question on summation. All right, so you look at question 9, it starts off with a sequence of numbers U1, U2, U3, has a sum Sn where Sn equals to summation um, from R equals to 1 to N, U, R. It is given that Sn equals to An squared plus Bn, where A and B are non-zero constants. So find an expression for U, N in terms of A, B, and N. Simplify your answer and then part 2 of part A asks you, it is also given that the term that the 10th term in, is 48 and the 17th term is 90. So find A and B. Alright, let's start with part A first. So take it slowly one step at a time. So part A, part 1. Alright, so part 1 it is basically in the question it is given that Sn equals to An squared plus Bn. Alright, so in the question is basically assumed to find what Un is. So whenever you want to find Un, it's very simple. This is a classic summation question. Okay, it is always Sn minus Sn minus 1. Alright, because when you sub in N, um, into your into your equation, you will find that the last term that you will get once you sum sum um sum, once you sum everything to infinity, last time the last term you will get will be left with un. Everything else will cancel each other. Okay, only un will be left. So all you need to do now is just sub this into your uh sub sn in and then s n minus one. So you just get a n square plus b n minus a n minus one square plus b n minus 1 and then you just need to expand it and solve so you get a n square plus b n minus this will be a n square minus 2 n plus 1 plus b n minus b so all you need to do now is just open up the brackets bring everything together you will have a n square plus b n minus a n square plus 2n minus a minus bn plus b. Alright, so you can find that a lot of these things will cancel each other off. You'll be left with only 2 a n minus a plus b and that is your answer. So part 1 is very very simple. It is back to your summation um, uh, uh, summation knowledge. Okay, okay part 2 asks you that it's also given that the 10th term is 48 and the 17th term, 17th term is 90. So very simple, part 2 is just a matter of simultaneous equations. So you have got U10, the 10th term, is equivalent to 48. So just sub this in, sub n to become um, 10. You will just have 2a times 10 minus a plus b equals to 48. So from this you will have 19a plus b equals to 48. This is your first equation. Okay, the second one, they tell you that U17, your 17th term, is equivalent to 90. So you just need to sub n equals to 17. You get 2a times 17 minus a plus b equals to 90. So after this, you just need to combine everything. You get 33a plus b equals to 90. This is equation 2. So all you need to do now is just using GC, or you can just um, sub 1 into 2. Okay, you'll find that your answer is very simply A equals to 3, and B equals to negative 9. Okay, so that's your answer for this second part. All right, also a very, very simple part. It's just a matter of substituting in the values. All right, the next part, part B, is to ask you to show that R square bracket R plus 1 uh, r plus 1 square minus r minus 1 da, 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 equals to kr cubed. So you're asking to find k. k. k is a constant to be determined. Use this result to find a simplified expression for summation of r cubed. Alright, so also very simple part. Part b. So they have this whereby it is r square. So just give me a second. So it is r square bracket r plus 1. So you just need to copy everything again. So r square bracket r plus 1 square minus r minus 1 square 
uh, square k. What we're going to do is we're going to try and find um, get the r cube out of this equation. So first thing, let's just take out r square since it's common. So you're left with r plus 1 square minus r minus 1 square. Okay, from here what you can do is you can then expand. So expand whatever is inside. You have left r square outside. You get r square plus 2r minus, uh, sorry, plus 1 minus your, oops, sorry about that. It's giving me some error. Okay, minus your r square plus, eh, sorry, minus 2r, minus 2r plus 1, bracket, whole thing, close it. So now you just need to deduce this, okay, and then you will just end up with r square bracket 4r, and this equals to 4r cubed. So therefore, the value of k is just 4. That, right? Very simple part. You just need to just need to see it clearly. See how you're gonna get the r cube. Okay, don't don't expand right from the start, right? You cannot just expand expand this. Okay, you will find that you will land up nowhere. Okay, what you have to do is you just you have to just try and leave the biggest um um power. Okay, the biggest degree of r out, and you'll be able to do the rest quite easily. Okay, the last part is where I think most students may struggle with. Okay, part C. The Lambert's uh, ratio states that series of sum of the form r equals to 0 to infinity um, ar converges when the limitation is like that uh, yeah when when your, your limits are this and then lim diverges when your limits are this k more than one and less than one so when da 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 equals to one the test is inconclusive so this is just extra information really right so using this test explain why this series over here converges for all real values of x and state the sum to infinity of this series. Alright, so this is your classic method of difference sort of question, okay? But because of your previous parts, parts 1, 2, and uh, 3, your A, B, C, okay, we can actually use those parts to our advantage. So let's try part, uh, this part C, right? Part C. So part C. So what you're going to do is, I have got the summation over here. Um, They're asking me to find what it is when my summation is from R equals to 1, and it is R cubed. So from this, what I can do is I've seen that in my previous part, I have seen what r cubed can be equivalent to. Okay, it can be equivalent to um, r square r plus 1 square minus r minus 1 square r square. But there's a 4 in front. So we have to try and fit in the 4. So what you get is you put a 1 quarter in front so that it everything stays the same. r equals to 1 to n, but now you have a 4 r cubed here. So now 4 r cubed here, you can just simply sub in the equation from part b. Okay, r square r plus 1 square minus r minus 1 square r square. So you just need to sub it in. You have 1 quarter summation r equals to 1 to n. And then you will have r square r plus 1 square uh, minus r minus 1 square r square. Whole thing close bracket off. Okay, and this is where your method of difference can take place. So you just need to sub in when r equals to 1, then r equals to 2, and so on and so forth. So you'll find that you get 1 quarter. When you sum in r equals to 1, you just have 1 square. And then r, 1 plus 1 square is just 2 square. Minus 0 square, 1 square. Then you add 2 square, 3 square, minus 1 square, 2 square. And then you move on one more time first. Okay, just try one more time to see that it, it works. 4 square minus 2 square, 3 square. So you realize that then you can start to cancel it these ways down. Okay, but let's try and continue all the way until... Uh, the bottom okay so we use the previous two so first one you will have is n minus 2 so you get n minus 1 square n square minus n minus 2 square n minus 1 square so this is when you sub in n minus 2 and now you sub in when n minus 1 you get uh sorry you get n square here n square n plus 1 square minus n minus 1 square n square so you realize that yes it does hold true okay that means the terms will still cancel this way and what you can do now is um end it here so this way you can end it when you sub n in n minus 1 n minus 2 so uh sorry i meant this part here is n minus 1 okay so this is when you sub in n minus 1 here's when you sub in n since that is the where where the limits are until okay so what you can do now is from here then you can solve so you will just simply get equals to 1 quarter n square n plus 1 whole thing square. 
this answer. Okay, so now then the last part, okay, where they ask you whether it converges or diverges. Oh, actually, is this part part C or is it still part B? Oh, right, okay, so this is still part B. So this is still part B. So, sorry, my bad. So this is still part B. Okay, now we're looking at the last part, part C. Okay, so the convergence and, and divergence part. Okay, part C. Okay, so when we first start off, okay, we would, what we'll do is we'll just let a, a r equals to x to the power r over r factorial. Alright, simply because the question um, basically is is asking for that. Okay, so since they're asking for that, we'll just let it be like this. So what you can do is then you can start to solve. So when your r equals to n plus 1, and equals to n okay this is so that we can find whether it's converging or diverging okay based on the information that the question has given us okay you just need to sub in the relevant values so you get x to the power m plus 1 over m plus 1 factorial and this will be over x to the power of n over n factorial so simplify this you will just get x to the power m plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial multiply by n you just flip it n factorial to power x over x to the power n so this would be x n times x over m plus 1 factorial times n factorial over x to the power n so these two can cancel out so you will just be left with x uh, n factorial over n plus 1 factorial so you know that n plus 1 factorial will be n plus 1 okay equals to n plus 1 times n factorial so those two will cancel off you just be left with x over n plus 1 so your n factorial will cancel off okay so you're left with x over n plus 1 factorial so now you need to find the sum to uh, infinity so how you write it is like this so the limits from n to infinity when a n plus 1 over a n okay is equivalent to your x and n that you found okay just copy this part in which will be x over n plus 1 okay so your limits when n tends to infinity you notice that if n tends to infinity in the bottom your in your in your um, denominator will become an uh it will become infinity so when your denominator is is it becomes like super huge and infinity one over anything will just become zero so because zero is less than one you can say that therefore the summation of r equals to zero to sorry infinity over here of x to the power r over r factorial converges for all real values of x that's your answer then all right so the last part uh which asks you on state the sum of infinity of the series in terms of x okay so what you can do for this part for the last part over here is you just let this part be uh you try and solve the summation okay when r equals to zero and when it goes until infinity of x to the power r over r factorial okay just sub in your values uh, very simply so x to the power zero over zero factorial plus x to the power 1 over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot 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 okay you'll find that this will just simply get you at, um, x to the power 0 over uh, 0 factorial is nothing okay x to the power 1 over 1 factorial just become 1 you know sorry uh, the first part will become 1 because uh, anything over 0 becomes 1 correct and then after that x factorial over 1 will just become x and you get x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot 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 so you'll find that if you look at your formula sheet okay this is actually um a very very simple uh look you look at your maclaurin series you realize that this is actually the function of e to the power of x so that's the answer so you find that your when your series of x to the power r over r factorial okay um um has limits from zero and then it lasts all the way to infinity okay when you actually work it out you realize that it is actually a series Okay, and this is an actually an exponential series. So you find that this um, um, answer okay, will always uh, basically be an exponential. 
All right, so that's all for this question on summation. So it's a bit of summation, a bit of Maclaurin combined. Um, but overall, you just need to make sure you know how to do your methods of difference. And then the rest of the answers, just use the question to help you. So the question already state, they stated what, when it diverges and when it converges. So formulate your, your substitute your equation, your, your, your whatever your answer was, okay, to look like the questions one. And then from there, you'll be able to um, answer and, and try and hit the mark in terms of whether it matches or not. Okay, so that's all for this question. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, we're almost done with this paper already. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy this video, okay, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as to like and uh, comment and subscribe, okay, if you can. If you have any questions, just leave it down below as well. I'll answer them. Uh, if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.